All right, so we've just looked at using the principle of moments to determine the position of the center of gravity. This X bar, Y bar, and Z bar are the uh, give us the position. Okay? And it's based on using the principle of moments. The moment of the sum is equal to the sum of the moments. Remember, guys, integration is a summation, is a summation of continuous differential elements. Okay, dW is the, is the force of gravity on a differential element. And X is simply the moment arm of, that, of the force acting on that differential element about a, a, the Y axis. Okay, so please make sure you, you get the conceptual understanding of the principle of moments. Okay? All right, so now we're going to look at a quick overview of the center of gravity. We'll get into this again later. Gravity versus center of mass, and then the centroid. Okay? They're all very similar. We will see their slight differences. So the center of gravity, uh, what needs to be in this, in this equation? The center of gravity, there has to be G, right? So W, weight, is mg, and dw is g dm. So you see that there's this gravitational constant in there, right? Gravitational acceleration. So if the gravitation, the gravitational constant um, is uh, replaced, okay, why would I say, or eliminated? So say now we, we put that mg over there, okay, so now we've got x, uh, let's just put it at the bottom, mg, so weight is equal to mg, so we replace that w with mg, and now we replace dw with g dm, now we can cancel out the g's, and we get this guy. So as you can see in this equation, we're still trying to locate the center of something, but now, this is no longer the center of gravity, but it's the center of mass. And as long as your, your, uh, the gravitational field is constant, then these two will generally be equal to each other. That's why we often, um, we often use center of gravity and center of mass interchangeably. Okay? But if you're in a situation where your gravitational field is changing, then this guy is not, this guy is not constant. G is not a constant in, in specific cases. But in our case, G is a constant, so we can just eliminate that. And so our center of gravity and center of mass is effectively the same thing. Okay? But you can see here, all the only information I've got here is mass information. So I can locate X bar, Y bar, and Z bar without, gravi without gravity information, but just mass information. So it becomes independent of gravity. This equation is independent of gravity and is dependent on mass. Now we can take it one step further. And, well, before we do that, this can also be rewritten uh, you can see this is a kind of a scalar expression based on this figure over here. Let's, let's rub that out. So here we've got your x and your x bar, y, y bar, z and z bar. So these are your different components. But you could rewrite this in vector form saying r vector, position vector from, from that point right to their position vector and so that is simply your position vector of every single differential element in this body and then r bar is your position vector of your center of gravity or center of mass okay so this equation here 5 1 b can re 
can be rewritten in vector form as this r bar r bar inside this you've got x bar y bar and z bar okay so it, it just looks like this there's x bar i plus y bar j plus z bar k and r is simply the position vector of the differential element okay all right so now moving back to what i was saying is that by eliminating gravity we've now got the center of mass this is now the center of mass it's only dependent on the mass it's independent of so you could basically calculate this on on the moon on earth on mars whatever the center of mass would remain the same because it's independent of gravity of the gravitational force okay now we can take one step further by saying, okay, well, what is mass? Mass is density times volume. Mass is density times volume. So if we take that x is equal to the integral of x uh, dm over um, m, then we can replace this by saying x rho dv divided by by mass now remember we need to now also add up all the the rho dvs at the uh, to, to give us the total mass okay it's effectively rho v at the bottom okay but this rho v is the sum of all the rho dvs as well now listen if this density is a constant just in the same way that we saw that if gravity was a constant we can eliminate it if density is a constant right in this say now you've got a uniform bar a uniform bar remember we, we've seen this a uniform bar meaning the density is constant right throughout here then we can cancel this out boom boom and we say then we've got x bar is x dv over the, the total volume and and then this this idea here guys this idea is called the centroid the centroid which we'll get into i'm, I'm giving you a, a foretaste here so we move from center of gravity we move to center of mass and then we can move to the centroid what's the difference gravity right is dependent on the gravitational field but if it's constant we can eliminate it and then we've got just the center of mass and if the density of that object is constant then we all we're looking at is something called a centroid meaning it doesn't p uh, possess any gravitational information it doesn't possess any density information it's just we're literally just looking at the geometry of the object that's it okay center of gravity center of mass centroid but 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 if the density is not constant say it changes from left to right say the density over here is less than over here then you have to keep that density in the formula in the equation because it is you can't just cancel it out because it is not a constant okay so then we need to keep it in there all right a lot of this will make more sense as when we do uh, problems. Okay, cheers.